zero to B. Learning better is better. And hello uh, geeks. So welcome back to our trainings and this is another freebie on YouTube. You could subscribe and get a lot more. Today we're talking about ScreenFlow 4.0, which has a lot of really cool new features and I just wanted to talk about one of them, um, which I personally really like. Um, and literally the way it works is this. It, well, we're just gonna jump in and see how it works. I love it. It's a really, really simple idea, but just a really good one. All right. So. Let's uh, animate, for example, this logo, and let's see how we do that in stream, well, in ScreenFlow 4. Well, the first thing I want to do is I love this end position. It's basically where our, our videos end always and where we leave our logo. And because I don't really have an animator and I really just want to get something simple there when our jingle was going on, what we could do is something really, really, really simple. So one is I'm going to just go to a point in our video, let's say here. And in this point right here, I'm just going to select our logo, our image, now that it's selected, I'm gonna add a video action. Once I've added a video action, all the properties of that of that element are now stored. So now I could go before that keyframe, which by the way, in a lot of other languages such as uh, action script, it would be called a keyframe. So now that we've created a keyframe, all we gotta do is now change it. So for example, let's say we want it to be in the center, um, right on top of my nose, and we want it to be bigger at this stage right here. And let's say we want that to stay there for a bit and until this point, and we could add another action, another keyframe. Once we had another keyframe, we can now do another one. So I'm gonna go up here behind, and I'm just gonna make it like really crazy big. Uh, and let me just uh, scale this down a bit, position it in a good spot. All right, so we got ourselves our spot here. Um, and all I have to do, first of all, this is the amount of time that our animation will take place. It's basically because there, are, it's basically the amount of frames that will animate. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stretch it out all the way from the beginning. Let me just play it out for a second and see if I'm kind of happy. So first, it's a little bit slow, so I'm just going to kind of like make it end more fastly. Love it. All right, so maybe even a bit smaller, because um, really it's just to catch the user's eyes, and then we could wait for a bit. And really, we don't want it to be hanging for too long. So what we're gonna we could do is grab one of the background assets after the first animation went through. Wait like a half a second. After the half a second is over, we could then maybe add in also a fade. And so I'm gonna basically right click on the element. And although you can't see it here because it's going out of the screen, unless I do a little bit of animations, which uh, we'll show you how to do that also maybe in one of our videos. So I'm gonna add a starting transition. Now that I have a starting transition, we could have it fade in which works for me. Um, the, lo the, the copy of the Zero Geek to could always be there because we love that our name is always there. So, Or we could just have it uh, snap in as soon as the fade is over. By the way, not everything needs to get animated. A lot of times people, the biggest mistake they make is they animate everything or they over animate uh, in, in this scenario or have text messages in the middle of a video. <laughs> in our scenario, the best thing to do is that just before the fade out is complete, you just snap it in and no one will notice. It, it actually looks better than fading things, too many things in at the same time. And copy doesn't really fade well usually. It's a lot of work to make copy look good as it's animating. So don't animate copy. Just paste it in when it comes in. You don't need those stupid PowerPoint presentations kind of feels all you really want is a few little simple cleanups so what we learned here is about adding a video action we added a video action we saw how to work with it very simple very cool you could add a lot more sophisticated animations such as rotating your x and y and z and if you watch our videos sometimes i flip my head and, and random stuff like that but really easy all you do is grab something and, and flip it and and you got something so you know let's just do that just for for the Hell of it. Let's say, let's start our logo here at the minus 180. And we'll do here a 90 degree. Whoopsie. And then when we play this, we'll see. Oh, first of all, I did that to the text by mistake because it wasn't selected. So let me undo that. Oh, no. Let me redo. Bring it to where it was. Cool. Now grab this one. Push it all the way to make sure that it's selected. That is a big mistake if you don't. Um, minus 180, let's say. And let's do here 90. And when we'll play it, we'll see some sort of a weird animation that wasn't really planned out. Yeah, that actually kind of, that has, is actually kind of cool. Ooh, exciting. All right, time for a jingle. Later. Please subscribe to us, we love you so much. Please subscribe.